It's legs in my nose. I want to go home. I want to go home. Where's he going? Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlers prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature, ready to give a frightening facial to Lee Hinchcliffe. This is a cheeky species of YouTube personality whose native habitat is the United Kingdom. Lee is known for his vlogs, challenges and pranks. He's also competed in the world's largest celebrity football tournament, Soccer 6, where he scored the first goal in his first game. Let's see how he scores with today's bug. Meet Prosopocoilus savagii, or as we know them, Giles. Giles is a stag beetle, native to Uganda and Ethiopia. Stag beetles are just one group of about 1,200 species of beetles. So they're special, just like Lee Hinchcliffe's face. Lee, welcome to the Bug Snug. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks for popping over to our channel. That's right, I am always welcome to a collab, so I'm very happy to be here. Awesome, awesome. How are you feeling about this collaboration? I am um, a little bit on edge because I don't know what's inside this box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind bugs, but the only thing I really hate is spiders. You know, if I'm in the house, okay. I absolutely hate spiders. That is the main thing that I will just not touch. So are there any other bugs that you're petrified of or is it just spiders? Mainly spiders. If there's a bug in the house, I either get my girlfriend to sort it or I get my dog to get it. <laughs> oh, okay. Would you be ready to find out what's in there? I am as ready as I can be, yeah. Okay, Lee, it's time to meet Giles 1, Giles 2, Giles 3 and Giles 4. Is this a joke? <laughs> what do you think to the Gileses? They've got very big fangs. <laughs> the mandibles at the front. Yeah, I really do not like the look of those things. Really? Okay. So the, the ones with the big mandibles, they're actually the males, and then the females have slightly smaller mandibles. So these guys are stag beetles. Their scientific name is Prosopocoilus savagii, and they come all the way from Uganda and Ethiopia. So uh, which one's going on my face again? <laughs> uh, I've got a bit of bad news for you there, Lee. We're going to put all four of these guys on your face today. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go home then. I'm going to give it my best shot, but I'm not really that prepared for it. You're feeling brave though? I, I am. That's, I'm, that's I'm the main like thing. I'm feeling like a brave man. First things first, they could excrete on your face. Bite. Might do a little poo. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Brilliant. That's what we like to hear. Secondly, they do have very strong feet. So like I said, they might grab on quite hard, yep. uh, but it shouldn't break the skin. Shouldn't. Um, and then thirdly, they also might grab any sort of face protrusions with those mouth parts. So we've just got to be careful of your nose, ears, areas like that. Okay, as long as they're not going in my nose, that's fine. I'm all right. Good news, because we've got a little form here for you to sign. I've got to sign a disclaimer. <laughs> you do indeed. Just, uh... That's it. Yep, just... Pop your signature there at the bottom. There you go. All right, Lee. It's time to put the bugs on your mug and let nature take its course. You ready for this, Lee? I think so. Okay, well, we've got some facts about the Gileses on the screen above you. Right. You've got to read them all nice and clearly and correctly. The moment you get through them all, the Gileses can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. Right, okay, how many's going on my face? We've got four here for you today. What, all on my face at once? All on your face at once. Okay, okay. 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 Are you going to be cool with this? Uh, yeah, I'm going to try. I feel like I'm in a dentist. Well, I really hope these go nowhere near your teeth. Me too. Okay, it's time for us to infest your face. Oh. Okay, there you go. You've got one on. Oh. What's it feel like? Oh, I don't, it feels quite, quite spiky. <laughs> Is that another one? Yeah, you've got two more on there. Right. Oh, it's tickling, it's okay. tickling, it's there tickling. We go. Can we hear that first fact, please, Lee? Giles is called a stag beetle because his massive mouth parts... Oh, it's tickling my chin. His massive mouth parts look like antlers from male stags. They're called mandibles. That's it, and yeah. He uses... Is that going to go in my mouth? No, you're good at the minute. He uses them for battling for torture and mates. It's, it's, it's legs in my nose. It's legs in my nose. I feel like I'm... I can't breathe. I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> when you're ready, give us the next fact. Male stag beetles fly out to look for a mate at dusk on humid, thundery evenings. Females can also fly, but rarely do. I wish these would fly off my face because it's really tickling my nose. <laughs> Did you know they could fly? Nope, but I, I really wish they would fly now. Yeah, you sure? Oh, it's about to fly. It's flying. Where's it going? It's going, it's going up there. Why is it flying? I think, I think we're good to carry on. Someone, someone will sort that out. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so when you're ready, 
My Ostag Beetles look a bit like a helicopter. I've just seen one fly up there that looked like a helicopter. Perfect timing. When they fly because it's noisy and upright with its large black wings held behind it. And I definitely saw its black wings. Female stag beetles release pheromones. Pheromones. A special, it's tickling my ear. A special set of chemicals like a nice smelling perfume to attract males to them. Can you smell those pheromones? No, but I, I think they can smell me. That's why they're on me. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready, can we hear that next fact, please? Male stag beetles can reach body levels of 24 to 65 millimetres, not centimetres, while a female is a lot smaller at 21 to 31 millimetres. Don't forget what's at stake here, Lee. My mug. The mug, the legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. It sounds great, doesn't it? It does, it sounds <laughs> a lot better than, oh, the, it feels like the one's nesting in my hair. Okay, when you're ready, please, Lee, can we hear the next fact? So keep your right eye closed, that's it, yeah. When fighting... You can open your eyes now. Okay. When fighting, stag beetles try to grip each other and the winners might even lift the other male and throw it backwards. Is that what this one's trying to do here? Whenever you're ready, can we hear that next fact, please? Male stag beetles have a massively high bite force which may put them at a risk of breaking their own jaws. Well, I feel like they're possibly going to break my jaw. I really want to itch, but I can't because it's there. It's all, how do I itch? It's going to take oh, off again. Oh, 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 it sounds like a fan. Where's it gone? I caught it. Oh, <laughs> you got a good catch. When you're ready, can we hear that next fact? Stag beetles spend most of their very long life cycle underground as lava. Can you feel all those legs? I can. Yeah. Really, it really feels like... I'm getting pinched. I mean, you've got 24 legs on your face right now. I can feel every single one. <laughs> Next fact, please, Lee. As wow. larvae, stag beetles are Prosopocoilus savagei. Prosopocoilus savagei. Prosopocoilus savagei. That's it. Take a year feeding on rotting wood, growing through three... Ow! I don't want to bury him. Ow! Oh, he's pulling my hair out. Oh, there we go. That's it, there we go. Carry on. Growing through three stages. Oh, is it flown again? Oh, off, you, yeah. I don't think they like me anymore. Can we hear that last fact, please, Lee? The final fact is that stag beetles are also called pinch bugs. Yep, I know, I can feel that. Please get them off. Are you ready for them to come off? Yep. Okay, you've done really, really well. Thank you. I'll get the jowses off your face now. Lovely, thank you very much. Oh, ow. Okay, Lee, how was that experience for you? It was different. It was very spiky. Mm -hmm. They sort of liked my hair and they liked to dig into my chin a lot, which was uh, quite painful, but, you know, I could put up with it. And what was the worst part about that experience for you? Um, it was the part where they nearly went into my nose and then they were sort of crawling around my mouth. I don't like that because then I can't read off the facts and anything around my nose and stuff I get really uncomfortable with, so I didn't really like the feeling of it. its leg in my nostril. That's fair enough. And what about when it's burrowing into your hair? Because there was a few times where I had to pull them out of your hair. I did say that it felt like they were really big nits, but <laughs> I don't have nits, but it just felt like there were massive nits in my hair. <laughs> were there any facts that particularly surprised you? The main one was when I was talking about it looking like a helicopter when it lifts off, and it literally flew off of the end of my nose. So what did it feel like when it was taken off? I could feel the air from its wings as it blew off on my face. It physically felt like someone had leant down next to me and blown onto my face and then I could feel the flutter of its wings and it just disappeared after that. <laughs> really? They actually like to find the highest point to take off from, so it obviously thought the highest point of your face was your nose. Are you trying to say that my nose is big? Now, you have your own merchandise, Lee. So I do. What, what merchandise would you make for Giles here? I would make it a cape with okay. a little beetle logo on the back of it so that when it flies off, it looks like a little super beetle as it flies through the air. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. It's a good plan. <laughs> so Giles, congratulations on making it through Bugface and thank you for exploring Lee's mush. Thank you very much. <laughs> Even though it prickled me, I did really enjoy it. So thank you very much, Giles, for walking around my face. That's good. That's good. And you did really, really well, which means you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. There you go. Somebody dropped it. Why? What, what's up with it? There's a bit of a crack just down there. Ah, oh, you'll hardly notice it. Don't forget, you can also see Lee and his pet Pomeranian dog on VI Pets and all of our bug faces, plus loads more on the BBC Earth Kids channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next bug face. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.